This is Staff Gymnasium, home of your Brockton Boxers. And today, a familiar rivalry game as your boxers take on the Bridgewater Random Trojans. I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson alongside my broadcast partner, the one, the only, the four-time award-winning director and producer, Newbie Ratto. Newbie, a great game shaping up here at Staff. You know, a fantastic game, fantastic little rivalry between Brockton and Bridgewater. I mean, between, you know, between basketball and, uh, and football, you know, this is a pretty um, pretty good rivalry by, um, by both sports, but I think, like I said before, this is the first few games of the season. We're not going to find out, um, you know, what type of team this is, you know. <laughs> I tried to Jerry. It's making me laugh over here. She she um, she photo bombs, but um, you're not gonna find what type of team this is, you know. So this is what it's all about: finding that chemistry, you know, finding different players, different rotations um, that could work out. So I'm excited. Um, I think the Brockton Boss got a lot of young players that are really gonna be very impressive. Got a mix of veterans and young players. So I expected this year the Brockton Box to have just good of seasons they did last year because they didn't lose too many players. So. I'm excited. Uh, I was talking to Coach before the game. She, you know, she said, you know, overall this year they're pretty deep. So we're really going to get a good uh, litmus test the first few games of how deep they are. Newbie, Brockton coming off two big wins, a 30-point win against the Pontiquid last Friday. And a big so win. that four times. A big win against Abington, the cross-border rival to the east side of Brockton on Monday night. Three-point edge, very close competitive game. They have not played since then, so they've had a lot of time to study this Trojan team. Hey, you know what? It's all—it's important to get off to a good start. So I, mean, <laughs> I got people all around me trying to make me laugh. It's important to get off to a good start. Um, it's important to, you know, that, that 3 0 is huge. Because just right now, momentum is everything in sports. Momentum is everything in life. Sports is a microcosm of life. You know, so you, you can start off and, and get up to a huge stretch right now and, 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 and really, um, you know, have that momentum going forward to the whole season. It's just it's going to do wonders for the players, it's going to do wonders for the fans, wonders for the atmosphere. It'll be a battle of the big men in the paint tonight for Bridgewater Random. They have a six foot two senior, Barbara Odaya, going against Tony Fairhurst for the Brockton Boxers. That's going to be the matchup of the night. Hey, you know what? Um, I think it's an opportunity for the Brockton Boxers, you know, to get an early test early on in the season, you know, and see. But I mean, I'm interested to see, you know, what type of player she is because height's on everything. You know, we, especially during high school, we see a lot of tall players that. You know, struggling with their height and how, and how to, um, you know, use that to the advantage of the basketball game. So, I'm interested to see what type of player she is. I think our big person we have, um, Aaliyah um, Burrito, if I'm not mistaken. Um, you know, I, I've seen a lot of flashes with her, so I think um, it's going to be a good matchup. So, only time is going to tell. Well, we're going to hand it over to the PA announcer here at Staff Gymnasium for the starting lineups, the national anthem, and then we're going to have the matchup of the night, the Bridgewater Random Trojans against the Brockton Boxers. The only matchup of the night.
Newby as we count down to tip off here between the Bridgewater Random Trojans and the Brockton Boxers. A notable absence in the Brockton starting lineup. Jernasha Silva Moore, who had an ankle injury during the last game, but more importantly than that, towards the end of the game, the last two minutes, she took a hard foul and bounced her head off of the wood court here at Staff Gymnasium, and she is wearing sweatpants and a sweatshirt on the bench. It does not look like she will play, and that's a big loss as she is one of the Brockton Boxer starters. Yeah, I talked to Coach April Dingo. She confirmed that she won't play today. But, again, you know, this is an opportunity for the person next in line to step up and get a little play experience as um, she'll be back, um, you know, yeah, I assume in a few games or so. So, um, good opportunity for the Brockton Boston to see what type of depth they have. Jelani Jackson for three. Good action, Jackson! Brockton up three to two after Emily Keneally hit a two right off the tip-off for BR. And Jelani Jackson with a big three-pointer. Elise McGovern with the three for BR. No good. Fairhurst with the rebound. Jelani Jackson back the other way. Takes it into the paint. Kicks it out to Catherine Lewis. Lewis for three. No good. Fairhurst nice with the rebound, but it goes out of bounds. BR good, ball. Good save by the Broughton box. I like how Broughton's playing so far. Kind of pushing the basketball. You know, got a little pep to their step. Uh, I'm impressed that, you know, with the first 45 seconds, this is my first time seeing the Brockton Boxers live. I didn't uh, see the first game on, the first game on Monday, first home game. Rachel Fernandez called with the moving screen for the Trojans. Brockton will take over. Nadia Montero inbounds it to Jelani Jackson. Just a short minute into this game, 32, Brockton on top. Jackson back to Montero. Montero on the paint with the floater, no good. Fairhurst with the rebound up, no good. Fairhurst comes down with it again, able to keep it in bounds. Yeah, can someone blow the, the whistle for crush sake? I mean, she had three people on her. All three of them, those contact and not one whistle. Howdy Montero for two, good. Foot was on the line, so they're going to call that a two. McGovern back the other way for the Trojans. She throws it up to Odaya, who is fouled, trying to put up the layup. She'll be at the line for two. Newbie. The couple of games we've had here at Staff Gymnasium, we've talked about there really isn't a pure center role in, in basketball anymore. Odaya at six foot two is is really looking to change that. Yeah, I mean, you know, you don't see that too often, so definitely um, an asset, huge asset to, to BR. So see how they're going to utilize it on the offense. Nice oh, what a block by Catherine Lewis. Montero out to Jelani Jackson. Jackson with the crossover out to Lewis. Lewis for three. Good! Catherine Lewis with a big three-pointer. Eight to three. The score Brockton on top of Bridgewater Random. Fairhurst with the tip. Gets it back to Lewis. Now Nadia Montero on a break. She lays it up and in. Yeah, right now the Brockton Bucks are running circles around BR right now. This is clearly the more dominant team, clearly the more athletic team. Clearly right now, just um, they just want a little more right now. Meanwhile, Jelani Jackson with the steal gets it over to Nadia Montero. Montero in for Fairhurst. Fairhurst off the glass, no good. BR comes down with it. Elise McGovern. Out of bounds off of the... Wild shot by Emily Keneally, Brockton ball. Joanny Jackson for the Brockton boxers. Over to Montero. Montero over to Aliyah Brito. Brito for three, good! Brockton hitting all the big shots right now and forcing Bridgewater Reynolds to take their first time out of the game. Five minutes and six seconds left. Brockton up by 10, 13 to three. Yeah, the Brockton box right now just completely dominating this game. Offensively, defensively, the more intense team, the faster team, the more talented team. Um, could be a long night. 
could be a long night because the Brockton Box right now are poised. It seems like they're just playing aggressive and just have a little more of a killer instinct. You talk about inside, outside, the Brockton Box is, um, you know, unlike we've seen the boys game. First of all, you know, I, I like the way they're pushing the basketball, number one. They're pushing the basketball and have a sense of urgency on offense. Uh, number two, I think the ball handling has been fantastic. Number three, the outside shooting has been phenomenal. I mean, the Brockton Box right now are clicking all cylinders. And to be quite frank with you, I don't see one problem the Brockton Boxes have had so far in the, in, in the last three minutes. So far, this team's been perfect. There's been nothing wrong with them. Perfect. This has been perfect basketball. This is what basketball should be played like. Right here, right now. We're watching history right now. History. Bridgewater Raiden with the inbound. Rachel Fernandez into McGovern. McGovern up the court. Gets it over to Keneally. Now Odaya in the paint. Pass broken up by Catherine Lewis who great, gets to Fairhurst. Great job by Lewis blocking up, clocking those passing lanes. Long arms creating a turnover. Fairhurst to Brito. Brito for two. Good. Inside, outside from the elbow. That's good basketball. McGovern gets it to Odai. Odai lays it up and in. 10 point lead for the Brockton Boxes. Almost halfway into the first quarter. Fairhurst out to Lewis. Lewis for three. No good. Rebound goes out of bounds. Governing for the Trojans. Over to Keneally. Keneally stops and pops. Air ball out of bounds. Brockton ball. Jackson inbounds to Lewis. Back to Jackson. Brockton trying to slow the game down a little bit here. Brito out to Fairhurst. Fairhurst top of the key and she commits a travel. Oh, come on, what a come on, let them play. Let them play, ref. Let the girls play. The first, we'll call it a mistake because the referees whistled it by the Brockton boxes this game. I don't know, for some reason I got a little chip on my shoulder today. Look at those two last intense games. Oh, Fairhurst with the block. She gets it up to Brito. Brito back to Jackson. Catherine Lewis for three again. Sees the three, B's the three. Is one with the three. Is Zen with the three. BR commits a line violation. Brockton ball. Newbie, you mentioned the, the two past intense games. We're wrapping up a very busy week here at Staff Gymnasium as Tony Fairhurst misses the two rebounded by Barbara Odaya. It, a long undefeated week for the Brockton Boxers here at Staff Gymnasium. Monday, the Lady Boxers win against Abington. Tuesday, the boys win in their opening game against St. John's. Thursday, we saw an instant classic here with an overtime win against BC Oh, High. great rejection! No soup for you! Fairhurst again. There's Nadia Montero driving into the paint. Lays it up off the glass. No good. Brito with the rebound. Her shot is rejected by the Trojans, and they take it the other way. McGovern for three. No good. Montero with the rebound. Montero floats it up. No good. Gets her own rebound. Talk about following your shot. Jackson with a long NBA three. Good nothing but net. And a timeout called by the Bridgewater Random Trojans. Jelani Jackson, NBA distance. She shot that. She shot that one from West Junior High. You heard about the party? You heard about the three-point party at Staff Gymnasium, 7 p.m.? Have you heard about that party? Have you been invited? Because I've been invited. I've so been invited courtside here at Staff Gymnasium. Maybe. Some big party. One big party over One big three-point party. Meanwhile, a substitution getting ready to come into the game. Number 13, Natasha Elias Newby. She 
might be the second best three-point shooter on this team right behind Jelani Jackson. Hey, it's, it's a three-point exhibition. Um, and you know what? Here, here's what I like. Okay, here's the deal, guys. It's not about three-point shots. It's about taking three-point shots within the rhythm of the offense. And that's what the girls are doing as opposed to what, you know, we, we've seen um, the boys doing the last two games. You know, rather than forcing them threes, it's threes within the rhythm of the offense. It's inside, outside basketball. It's, it's passing off a double team. It's, it's off a fast break knowing there's going to be someone there for the rebound if you miss the three. This is, this is really good basketball. This is impressive. It's team basketball. The ball's rotating. All five players are touching the basketball. This is what I like to see. This is Brockton High basketball. This is what it's all about. This is what I live for. 21 to five, a 16 point edge for the Brockton Boxes. And like you said, newbie, a three point party. Jelani Jackson hitting a three from downtown, way downtown. Right next to the new college campus downtown. Yeah. Elias in the game for the Brockton Boxers. She replaces Aliyah Brito. Lewis committing the foul on Odaya, who will be at the line. She's called for a hold. Odaya one for two at the line for her first trip, misses her first attempt this time around. Oh for two for Odaya. Catherine Lewis the other way for the Brockton Boxers to Jackson. Jackson inside to Nadia Montero. Montero off the glass and in. Great up fake right there. Nice power dribble going to the basket. These girls are on fire. McGovern for three, no good. Fairhurst. Tips it to Catherine Lewis Brockton the other way. They're walking on fire. Oh, Fairhurst wide open off the glass and in. Brockton running away with it up by 20. She's walking on fire. These girls are on fire. <laughs> 25, Carly Keating for Bridgewater Raynham. Throws it up, a weird shot off the rim, no good. Odaya with the rebound, she's triple teamed and it's gonna be a jump ball, excellent job by the three Brockton boxers in on the defensive play. Nadia Montero, Tony Fairhurst, and Catherine Lewis. Jackson into Elias, back to Jackson. A minute to go. Zone defense right here uh, by BR. Fairhurst with the rebound, throws it up off the glass, no good. And Nadia Montero is fouled by Megan Shognesi. It was a push call on Montero. Under a minute to go, Brockton up by 20, 20 to five the score, uh, 25 to five rather the score. Rocking on top as Elise McGovern gives the ball right to Jelani Jackson. Elias calling for the ball. Jackson with all the space in the world. She'll shoot another one from the parking lot. Good! Oh, it's all good! Wow. 26.5 seconds left. The shot clock off. Jelani Jackson with two shots from the VA hospital way down on Belmont Street. You want to talk about range and confidence. I mean, she just, you know, her, her range is absolutely incredible. I mean, Ray Allen, Reggie Miller-like. Fairhurst with the rejection with 15 left. Nadia Montero in alone. Lays it up the, off the rim, no good. VR comes away with it. And Montero committing the foul against Kelly Page. 7.3 seconds left. We'll probably see a three attempt by the Trojans as Leah Brito enters the game for Montero, who has two personal fouls against her. McGovern holding for the Trojans with four left. Pushing, we're gonna see a half court shot. 
no good. The score at the end of the first quarter, Brockton dominating 28 to five. The story of that first half, the three point shooting of the Brockton boxers, calm, cool, and collected newbie. Well, st the story of the first quarter is BR has Brockton right where they want him. <laughs> All part of their plan. <laughs> no, um, I mean, Brockton's been, you know, clearly the better team, clearly the more dominant team. You know, don't be surprised if, uh, you know, early in the third quarter or so, we'll see a lot of reserves in. Um, Brockton's just, you know, just the more dominant team right now. We can see it. You know, it's, it, it's, it's, it's important for BR to really, um, you know, stay composed. I mean, still, uh, you know, work, work hard. But, you know, at the end of the day, there's some times where teams are just, you know, are just more talented than you are. So that that's the case right now. They brought the boxes. I mean, you got a powerhouse team. You know, it looks like, you know, the boxes are shuck on all cylinders. In terms of starting five, might be one of the best starting fives in the last few years in Broughton history. And you're facing team BR, that's just, that's just not good enough. Uh, so... For BR right now, I mean, for them, I would I would try to just go to the basket a little more, maybe get some offense on the free throw line, and uh, and kind of go from there. And with the big man in the paint for the Brockton Boxers, Tony Fairhurst, firing on all cylinders, getting rebounds, blocking shots, putting up layups, doing it all for the Boxers. Doing it all. I mean, just um, you know, completely dominating the game, and and that's the word of this first quarter, just complete domination. So it's going to be interesting to see how BR comes out. You know, all teams have a run in them. So uh, BR, tough, hard no school, a lot of pride. So they're going to come back and, uh, you know, they're going to try to make this game interesting. Alicia McGovern with the ball for BR Trojans coming into the second quarter, down by 23. There you go, Ashley! BR kicks it out of bounds, Brockton ball. Jelani Jackson from right around the area. She hit those two big threes, gets it over to Elias. Elias off the glass, no good. BR with the rebound. BR gets it right into the hands of Catherine Lewis, who goes back for Brockton. Lewis to Jackson. Jackson takes a shot, goes into the paint, lays it up, no good. Brito with the rebound, she throws it up, in and out. BR rebound. Bounds off of the leg of Jackson and already a reserve coming into the game for the Brockton Boxers. Number three, Kirstie Joseph. First time we've seen her this year. We are thinking shot. Stolen by Brockton. That's going to be a jump ball. Good work by Jelani Jackson and Tony Fairhurst in the paint. Jackson to Elias, Elias for three. No good. Brito with the rebound off the glass and in. Textbook rebounding for the Brockton Boxers right there, newbie. Textbook rebounding, section five, one is two, one, one, five, five, dot, dot, two. Pythagorean theorem clearly states that's how you do a textbook rebound. Substitutions right here. Starting five looks like comes back in for BR. All except Elise McGovern, who spent the entire game on the floor. She takes a rest on the bench, but beyond that, all uh, four starters back on the floor for the Trojans. Jelani Jackson down to Joseph. Joseph back to Jackson. Jackson for a three. No good. Her first missed three of the game. Brockton really working the full court press maybe and it's really paying off. But Daya layup, no good. Jackson comes down with it. She throws it off the glass, no good. Fairhurst with the rebound. Fairhurst to Joseph. Joseph to Jackson. Jackson to Brito. Brito wide open for three. No good. 
good hustle right there by the boxes again. Last touch on Brockton, but like the hustle. Emily Keneally has it for BR, 5.45 left. Oh, what a rejection by Tony Fairhurst. Said, no soup for you, get, get out, out of my, my house. house. Get out of here, get out of town. It's my house, it's my paint, my territory. Kersey Joseph committing the foul against Emily Keneally. Who is at the line for two shots? Brockton up by 25. Keneally misses her first by two. Catherine Lewis back into the game for the Brockton Boxers, replacing Tony Fairhurst. Good on her second attempt. Natasha Elias for Brockton. Brito holding. Over to Jelani Jackson. Jackson down to Lewis. Lewis to Elias. Bubbles the ball but gets it back. Back out to Jackson. Catherine Lewis with eight on the shot clock. Lewis throws it up. No good. Out of bounds. BR ball. Fairly good movement for the Brockton Boxers on that play, maybe. I agree. Um, you know, Brockton Boxers actually in the second quarter haven't scored much. As uh, BR looks to try to chip away. He has it for the Trojans. She stops and pops for three. No good. Elias with the rebound. Brito calling for the ball wide open. Lays it up off the glass and in. Great job right there. Take advantage of the three and three on one fast break opportunity. Looking up court. Carly Keating has it for the Trojans. She kicks it out to Keneally. Keneally inside to Rachel Fernandez. Back out to Keating, who is fouled. She'll be at the line for two. Foul called against Jelani Jackson, her first personal. Keating misses her first. Brockton up by 26 points. That'd be correct, Matthew. Getting one for two at the line. As M Elise McGovern comes into the game for Keating. Elias bringing up the court for Brockton. Serena Mato on the floor for Brockton. She has it. A short bounce pass to Lewis. Lewis over to Elias. Elias for a long three. No good. McGovern with the rebound. Halfway through the second quarter as BR lays it up and in 32 to nine the score. Brockton on top big. Nice pass right there, you know, taking advantage. Brock the fell a little bit on defense. Back with another three attempt. No good, and a foul called against Catherine Lewis. Catherine Lewis has been very aggressive, very impressive in today's game. I mean, just aggressive defense, fantastic offensively. He's kind of showing the whole nine yards. We are in the bonus, which is the downside to playing so aggressive newbie Brockton with 17 fouls against him. Well, I mean, that's how BR is going to get back to this game. They really um, go to the basket, get some people in foul trouble, really ground it out, make their free throws. 
As I say that, she misses her free throw. Fernandez misses her first, will not get a second. Rebound by Aliyah Brito. Elias for three. Off the glass, no good. BR with the rebound, 3.30 to go. I mean, Keneally lays it up off the glass and in. Your boxers are not pushing the ball as much as they did in the first quarter, which I'd like to see a little more of. Wise thinking shot, gets it over to Catherine Lewis. Lewis for three, no good. Brockton held to just six points in this second quarter. McGovern for three, no good. Brockton with the rebound, but BR rips it out of their hands. Emily Keneally over to McGovern. Yeah, walks into the paint. Number 22, Tessin Arigi lays it off the glass and in. The zone defense looks like it might be working a little bit for BR. Box's last few possessions having a tough time. And Brito lets it go out of bounds off of BR. Jackson back into the game along with a couple of newcomers, Nadia Montero and number 20, Sasha Gagnon. Montero deep for Brito. Brito to Jackson. Jackson down to Gagnon. Gagnon walks in, floater shot, no good. Montero with the rebound, kicks it out. Jackson comes up with it. Gagnon over to Brito. Brito for a short two, no good. Off the glass, and BR with the rebound, good steal. Brito comes up with it. Oh, an errant pass by number 12, Serena Amato. Ends up in the hands of Emily Keneally. Keneally driving. Fairhurst getting ready to come back into the game for the boxers. Maybe really the slowdown of the Brockton boxers offense happened when head coach April Dingwell decided to substitute out Tony Fairhurst. I agree, Matthew. She replaces Brito as Jelani Jackson brings it up the floor. A minute 30 left in the first half. Jackson to Gagnon, Gagnon to Amato. Yeah, Box has got to break the zone defense. The zone defense wants you to pass the ball around the perimeter. You got to break it, go on the interior, go on the inside. Got to break the zone defense. And as you say that, Barbara Odaya clogs up the passing lane and comes up with a steal. Tony Fairhurst comes away and gets it to Nadia Montero. Montero loses the ball. Brockton ball out of bounds off of the Trojans. Jackson into Gagnon. Gagnon back to Jackson. Jackson back to Gagnon. Gagnon for three. Good. Brockton now up by 22 points. Montero gets between the two Trojans trying to pass the ball, forces it out of bounds. for Odaya. Short two, no good. Jackson with the rebound. Two on, oh, for the boxers. And the motto is rejected. Yeah, great hustle, she should have gave that up. You had to play wide open in the interior. Great block right there by BR, great hustle, but uh, you should give that ball up. Jackson to Montero, Montero cross court for Serena Amato. Back to Montero. Montero, Eric pass looking for Fairhurst. Ends up in the hands of Odaya. Oh, what a steal. Off the glass, no good. Fairhurst with the rebound. What a steal by number 20, Sasha Gagnon. Odaya being called with the foul. Jackson for three. 
No good. We are with the rebound. 12 seconds to go. Shot clock off. Elise McGovern for three. Good. 35 to 16 the score. Jackson holding for last shot. Her half court shot. Oh, off the rim. Very close to going in. The score at the end of the first half. 35 to 16. Brockton on top of the Bridgewater Random Trojans. Newbie, you couldn't play a better first quarter, but really starting to well, get a little sloppy in the second quarter. Well, I mean, quarter. we scored seven points um, in the second quarter. Uh, so BR did definitely outscore the uh, I'll score the Brought the Box. I thought the zone defense had something to do with it. And, but, you know, quite frankly, I think the Brought the Box just got comfortable. I mean, they got comfortable knowing that, you know, they have this game in control. And yeah, that's what happens. I mean, actually, you know, by 20, 25 points, you get comfortable. You get, you know, you get, get a little lax. So, you know, um, five points in the second quarter. BR, give them credit for, you know, hanging tough. But I don't think they're in the Brought the Boxes league. I think boxes um, are going to come up pretty quickly in the second half and should dominate this game. Newby, the Brockton police showed up at the end of the first quarter and said, no more three-point party for you. That was, that was pretty good. That was a good one. <laughs> that was good. But, um, yeah, I, I agree. I mean, the Brockton boss got cold from the three-point line. They got cold, and I just think they got a little complacent, to be quite frank with you. I think the second half, you know, um, look for a, a very quick start. And, Newby, the zone defense of the Bridgewater Random Trojans helping – the Brockton boxers slow down. Yeah, they, I thought the zone defense was very effective. So good job by the coach implementing that. Again, credit BR for you know hanging tough, sick in this game. You know they had a chance to say, hey, you know what, we're down by 25. Let's call it a day. Let's go home early. It's you know it's a Friday night, but hanging in tough, down by 19. Are they going to win the game? Probably not. But um, you know credit their effort. The score at the end of the second quarter: Brockton 35, Bridgewater Random 16. We'll take a short break and bring you second half action right after this. King. Go fish. In your face, in your face. The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. Welcome back to second half action here at Staff Gymnasium between the Bridgewater Random Trojans and your Brockton Boxes. Brockton entering the second half, leading big 35 to 16 up by 19 points. I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson joined alongside my broadcast partner, the one, the only, the living legend, Newbie Ratto. Newbie, the four-time award-winning director and producer, Newbie Ratto. Thank you. Thank you. Don't make that mistake again. Brockton slowing down in the second quarter, Newbie. But trying to start the second half out on the right foot. Catherine Lewis to Jelani Jackson. Jackson inside to Fairhurst. Fairhurst back out to Lewis. Lewis wide open. Looking shot. And her pass broken up by Barbara Odaya. Gets back to Jackson. Jelani Jackson turns and shoots. Five on the shot clock, hits the rim, no good. And BR the other way. Emily Keneally's shot, no good. And Jelani Jackson steps out of bounds with the ball. Yeah, Matt, we saw in the second quarter, the brought the box really struggled, so scoring only seven points. But the reason why they're up by 19 is BR only scored 11 points. So BR, you know, they're definitely, you know, putting the clamps on defensively, but. Got to score. Got to score on the off offense side of the basketball to really chip away at this, uh, at this deficit. Nadia Montero. Back to Jelani Jackson. Jackson to Lewis. Lewis for three. Good. Great ball rotation right there. Lewis saw the open three. Squared away, set her feet. Nothing but the bottom of the net. Brockton up by 20. BR struggling and... Number 14 is fouled by Aaliyah Brito. <laughs> Excuse me, Rachel Fernandez. Camille inbounding to Odai. Odai turns, shoots, rejected by Fairhurst. Oh, come on. They're going to call that a foul? That is a soft oh, call. Oh, come on. That's a, that's a load of, of, of caca. Unbelievable, what a bad call. Odaya turns and shoots rejected again by Fairhurst. You know, Same funny, exact play, no, no whistle. I'd actually argue that play was more aggressive than the play before. Yeah. 
jump ball called. Brockton ball, 622. Remaining in the third quarter, 38-18. Unbelievable. Jackson to Montero. Montero top of the key to Catherine Lewis. ID, ID, ID. She was swinging, she was swinging. Lewis back to Montero. Montero in for Fairhurst. Fairhurst, no good on the layup. Jelani Jackson now. Down to Catherine Lewis. Lewis walks in, floater shot off the glass, no good. VR with the rebound. And Elise McGovern comes away with it. Fairhurst with the rebound. Montero back the other way for Brockton. Montero no good. Brito with the rebound. She throws it up. Rejected by Odaya. Can someone call? Can someone blow the whistle? Jackson with the floater. Good. Nice floater right there. Good looking shot. Attacking the basket. McGovern for three. No good. Odaya with the rebound, gets her own rebound. Kicks it out to McGovern. She throws it off the glass, no good. And a foul committed by Nadia Montero. Rachel Fernandez at the line for two after being fouled by Catherine Lewis. That's her third personal. She's going to watch out, newbie. You have five fouls, you're off the game. Elias coming in for the rebounding specialist, Aliyah Brito. Go for two at the line is Fernandez. Rejection by Lewis Odaya comes down with it. Daya down low, float a shot, no good, taken down by Fernandez. Her shot, no good, taken down by Tony Fairhurst. Elias to Jackson, Jackson to Catherine Lewis. Lewis in for Montero, Montero, no good. Fairhurst with the rebound, gets her own rebound, lays it up off the glass and in 42 to 18. Good rebounding skills by the Brockton Boxers being shown in this second half. Maybe. Just bigger, taller, better. I mean, that's what it comes down to. Elias for a wide open three. Good! Nothing but net. That three-point party is back on. As uh, the Brockton Box have found their, their touch from beyond the arc again. Like I said, in the, you know, at the end of the first half, I thought the Brockton Box just got a little comfortable with that lead. Um, and we're going to see them with a quick start in the second half. And, and that's what's going on right now. I mean, they brought the box uh, just, you know, just clearly going to the hoop at will. Um, taller, so get second and third uh, chance opportunities on offensive rebounds. And they're playing, you know, better basketball. Credit, you know, BR, they're still playing hard. They're still working hard. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, water is seeping this level. They brought the box are just a better team right now. Newbie, the rebounding of the Brockton box is really coming into play in the second half, especially by number 11, Tony Fairhurst. Yeah, I mean, uh, she's just been an absolute beast in the paint. Multiple offensive boards. Um, no one that could really match up to her on the defensive side of the basketball. Um, so, you know, it, the Brockton box are, are reaping the fruits of that labor. 4.19 to go in the third quarter. Brockton up 45-18, to 18, starting to run away with it. And as you said, Newby, the three-point party is back. The boxers said the police left at halftime. Why not start again? That's a good one, Matt. You'll be here all week. I have been here all week. A very yeah, busy week yeah, for that staff gymnasium. Yeah. yeah. Brito back in the game for the Brockton Boxers. Thirty-three for three, no good. Fairhurst with the rebound gets it to Nadia Montero, who gets it to Jelani Jackson. Jackson in for Brito. Brito back out to Jackson, over to Montero. Montero from the free throw line, no good, and it goes out of bounds. Trojans ball. Go, 
count. Kelly Page for the Trojans. Hands it to Sophia Perez. Back out to Page. BR's three no good, brought down by Brito. She gets it to Jelani Jackson with three and a half left. Nice looking shot, gets it over to Jackson. Good steal by number 25, Carly Keating, who lays it up. Oh, what a rejection by Natasha Elias. Not in my house. Get out of here with that junk. Not in my house. Not on my watch. Great hustle right there, but you gotta go to the hoop stronger than that. I'm sick and tired of seeing players go to the hoop knowing there's someone behind you with a weak finger roll. Go to the basket hard. Keating holding it off the glass, no good. Brought down by Leah Brito. Johnny Jackson down to Montero. Montero to Elias. Elias to the top of the key for Brito. Brito with the floater. No good. Out of bounds off of Rachel Fernandez. Montero to Elias. Elias to a wide open Jackson. Over to Montero. Montero in the paint for Fairhurst. Her layup, no good. She gets her own rebound. Jackson thinking three. Fairhurst turns, shoots off the glass, and in. Big man in the paint, really paying off for the Brockton boxes yeah. in the second half. Definitely, I mean, you know, great footwork in the interior too. Um, and I, I seen her, you know, develop over the years in terms of, um, you know, when she played on the freshman JV team, you know, she wasn't right quite there in, in terms of, of footwork, but uh, she's developed her game over the years. Um, and she's a very solid, solid basketball player now. Page fighting for her own rebound in the paint. Fairhurst comes down with it. Elias holding up for Montero. Montero back to Elias. Elias stops, pops for three. Good, nothing but net. Brockton continuing the three point party. 50 to 18 the score. Brockton running away with it. 32 point edge for the boxers. This is a flamethrower. And they brought the box right now, just clicking on all cylinders. And, uh, Megan Chagnessy lays it up and in. Brockton up by a cool 30 points. And Kersey Joseph into the game for Natasha Elias, fresh off the three pointer. Joseph over to Jackson. Jackson down to Montero. Montero for Brito. Brito turns, stops, pops around the rim, no good. Fairhurst with the rebound, her shot, no good. BR comes away with it. And Serena Amato coming into the game for Nadia Montero. Joseph pressuring Page. Carly Keating getting the ball off the glass, no good. Oh, what a rejection by Tony Fairhurst. Get that jumble out of here. And a tip ruled against Serena Amato, BR Ball. I'll tell you what, this team's gonna be fun to watch this season. This team's gonna be really fun to watch, I'm excited. Under a minute to go, seven on the shot clock for the Trojans. Three, two, one, we're gonna see a shot clock violation. It is just that, with 45.9 remaining. 30 second violation against the Trojans. Brockton ball up by 30. Brito spins. Jelani Jackson way downtown. Nothing but net. 
Jelani Jackson hit that one from the other end of Forest Ave. She's, she's got the best range I think I've ever seen in high school basketball. Movie. This one called a fire department. Those, those nets are smoking. Those nets are on fire right now. We've already got the police department. Why not get the fire department? Get the fire department, get the fire department here. Fairhurst off the glass in, in seven seconds to go. Brockton up by 35. Point eight seconds left. I don't think we'll see a shot. Brockton will end the third quarter up by a cool 35 points. And newbie, the Brockton three-point shooting is back in action. We do see a shot high off the glass. No good. Score at the end of the third quarter. It will be 55 to 20. The three-point party's going. The rebound party's going. Brockton having a complete third quarter. Brockton Boston scored 25 points in the third quarter. BR scored four Nine. points. Uh, four. Four points. There you go. I mean, like I said, said before, um, you know, I, I, I thought the brought to Boston in the second half were going to come out with the, with the little a vengeance, come off a little more, a um, little oomph, you know, and, and, and that's what they did. You know, they, uh, they're a little more aggressive. They want to put this team away. And that's what they did. And, you know, so credit, I really want to give kudos to the coach. Uh, April Dingwell for really, you know, a lot of fire into them during halftime. I don't know what she said, but what she said, you know, got them motivated to really come here and, um, and really dominate. It'll be the work of number 11, Tony Fairhurst, blocking shots, getting rebounds, throwing it up for a, a layup off the glass, and then she's doing it off of the Brockton boxes. Yeah, doing, absolutely doing everything. So, um, hey, you know, th th this is what you expect, you know, for the Brockton boxes last year. Obviously a, dis a disappointing loss. Um, I believe in the second round over in Massasoit. Um, and then the Brockton Boxers right now, they knew they're better than that. They knew they're better than that, and they, they really felt like they can go deep into the playoffs last year, and they were upset by, by Newton, Newton North, uh, if I'm not mistaken. So they had that in their mind throughout this whole summer. So I really think the Brockton Boxers right now poised for that run towards... Um, towards the state title. I mean, they think they can go deep into the playoffs, and I believe it. Fairhurst down low off the glass and in. I mean, you want to talk about textbook. One dribble, put the ball up, none of the old, the, the pump fake stuff. Put the ball up strong, off the glass. Um, I, I really like the fundamentally sound qualities of this team. die at the free throw line, her floater shot. A couple of bounces off the rim and in. Jelani Jackson. Catherine Lewis wide open, thinking shot. She passes to Montero. Back to Jackson, back to Montero. Fairhurst calling for the ball. Jackson outside. Down to Catherine Lewis, nine on the shot clock. Brockton's gonna get rid of it. Jackson wide open, her three. Off the rim, no good. And a jump ball. Newbie, Bridgewater Random's defense really seems to be forgetting about one player consistently, and that is Jelani Jackson. Well, I just think she's just on fire. I mean, there's, there's not much you can do about good offense. I just don't think simply BR can stop her. Camille for three, good. 57 25. 30 remaining in the fourth quarter. Nadia Montero for Brock. Down to Jackson. Jackson in for Fairhurst. Fairhurst one dribble. Her layup no good. And Brito's foul trying to come down with the rebound. Now Brito's called for the push against BR, so it will be a Trojan basketball. He hands it to McGovern. McGovern with the floater, no good. Fairhurst with the rebound. Montero slapped. Where's the whistle? Yeah, they figure, you know what? Brock is up by 22. I don't think they need any more whistles. <laughs> Referee's like, play on. No, no blood, no foul. Play on. 
As long as it's consistent, newbie, I don't have a problem with it. Yeah, you know, it may not be consistent. The score is not consistent. <laughs> Rockton basketball, 5:46 remaining. 57 to 25, Brockton up by 32 points over the Bridgewater Random Trojans. Jelani Jackson, a big part of that, has the ball for the boxers. She gets it over to Catherine Lewis. Lewis from Montero. Montero down to Fairhurst. Gets her own rebound. A funky bounce. And Barbara O'Dia comes down with it. Keneally for two. No good. Fairhurst with the rebound. She gets it to Jelani Jackson. Jackson for Montero as Natasha Lies gets ready to come back into the game. Quito down low, spins off the glass and in. Elise McGovern. She loses it, Brito comes up with it. Jackson slowing down the pace of the game, trying to waste out some of this clock. Catherine Lewis. Lewis down for Montero. Montero back to Lewis. Lewis holding with 10 on the shot clock. Jelani Jackson, Jackson in for Fairhurst. Fairhurst fouled as she put up the lab. No good, she'll get two shots. And the first team foul against the Bridgewater Random Trojans this half. Fairhurst misses her first. Odaya coming out of the game for the Trojans along with Tesla and Origi. <coughs> Harris misses her second 0 for 2 at the line. BR comes down with the rebound with 4.15 remaining. McGovern taking a step back. She gets it to Haley Powers. Powers lays it up off the glass. No good, Fairhurst with the rebound. Gets it to Natasha Elias. Elias to Lewis, where's the, where's the call? Not gonna get a call. Referee's like, this is a Friday night. Fairhurst called for the push. And Brockton sending in the reserves. Kersey Joseph, Serena Mato, and Sasha Gagnon coming in for Fairhurst. Catherine Lewis. And Nadia Montero. The only starter on the floor is Aaliyah Brito. Gagnon commits a foul against Powers. <laughs> Ashley Rose at the line for two shots with three and a half minutes to go. Misses her first. Brockton up by 34 points. Gagged on with the rebound. Percy Joseph for two, no good. Amada now for Brockton. Gets it back to Brito. Brito to Elias. Elias thinking shot. She gets it over to Gagnon. Gagnon for three. No good. Follows a shot. Lays it off the glass and in. Brockton 
Brito with the rebound. She bounces it over to Sasha Gagnon. Brianna Santos getting ready to come into the game for Brockton, her first minutes of the year. So it looks like Brockton's gonna be 3 0. It's pretty safe to say at this point, Newby. Pretty safe to say. You know what? Um, why would chances wanna. Elias for three with the sh shot clock running out of time. 24 second violation. Number 22 for the boxers. Coming into the game along with Brianna Santos, Ashanti Allen, fresh off of the JV game she played in not too long ago, getting some varsity minutes. For us, games, I just want to give a shout out to uh, Mike Simmons, our camera guy. Did a fantastic job. Santos off the glass and in. 63-25. Newby, you are correct. We do have to give a shout out to Mike the Postman Simmons. Once again, delivering the fifth time this week, he's delivered the game to the viewers of Brockton. Brockton sending in all the third stringers. A minute 50 to go. Up 63 to 25 over the Bridgewater Random Trojans. Shanti Allen with it. She gets it to Santos. Santos shot rejected. Brockton able to keep it in bounds. And there's a whistle as number 33 for Brockton goes down hard. Annalisa Fernandez. And she is also fresh off the JV game. Fernandez misses her first of two. A minute and a half to go. Let's go second. Thirty-nine point edge for the Brockton boxes. Some real faithful BR fans. Yeah, they're they came on the same bus because of the JV team. <laughs> Serena Mato coming into the game for Kersey Joseph. But um, about 20, uh, 20 BR fans in the stands making some noise. BR, one of those schools not too far away. They do travel very well when it comes to playing Brockton. Mato to Gagnon. Gagnon for three. No good. minute left. If there should ever be a slaughter rule in basketball, this is it. Brockton up 64-27. Just putting on a show in all phases of the game as Ashante Allen comes away with the ball. Dagnon can't handle the pass. As BR's faithful JV teams, the JV team sticking around, heading for the exits. Page off the glass and in with 35 remaining. Shanti Allen holding. There's about a two second difference between the game clock and the shot clock. Gagnon for three, no good. Shot clock off, BR has the ball. Just hold it, let the clock run out. Page for three, no good. Gets her own rebound off the glass and in. Shanti Allen with one second remaining. Time expires. Brockton coming away with their second blowout win of the big season. Newby, a complete game played by the Brockton Boxers in every quarter except the second. Domination. 
uh, complete domination, offense, defense. Uh, those special teams, they dominated on them. Um, you know, they, they dominated. They dominated. There's not much to say. They dominated. They, they won the game by 33 points. Again, offense, defense. If there was special teams, they dominate them too. Um, they dominated. I don't know what to say. The score is dominated. Dominated. 64-31 final dominate. score. Brockton dominating as dominate. They dominated. Said what, what, do you want to, what else do you want me to game. say? They dominated. <laughs> they won by 33. Domination. Brockton moves to 3 and 0 on the young season after a dominating win dominate. against Bridgewater Indian Trojans. I'm going to give the player of the game to Jelani Jackson, shooting a number of three pointers. Tony Fairhurst a close second, rebounding and putting in. You know what they both playoffs. did? Dominate. They dominated. That's why they dominated. Great work done by the Brockton Boxers. They come away with a 64 to 31 final score here from Staff Gymnasium. For my broadcast partner, Nubi Rata, the four time award winning director and producer, Nubi Rata, our cameraman, Mike, the postman, Simmons. I'm Bad Dog Mad Nelson. We will see you next game.